Hi there, it's Simon Lewis here with another video to show you simple ways that you can use technology in schools for simple everyday tasks. Um, I've been giving webinars over the last couple of months during the uh, coronavirus pandemic and um, uh, one of the more, most popular requests I've had is uh, replacing paper-based forms with electronic forms or digital forms uh, because I suppose uh, you're trying to minimise contact. Uh, one of the uh, questions I was asked, I was uh, speaking in one webinar about uh, when we were doing book collections, that the staff had to self-declare whether they were going to be, uh, whether they were well enough to come into work. And I created a Google form, which was a self-correcting Google form, um, to, uh, that staff had to fill in before they were allowed into the building. Now they had to score 100% in the test, or in the quiz, uh, it's known as a quiz in Google Forms, uh, to be allowed into the building. Many uh, school leaders uh, have been in touch with me to ask me, how did I create that form? Can I have the form? Is, uh, can you share it with me? Uh, so what I said I'd do is I'd create a video to show you how I made our school's form may, um, and uh, maybe it will help you if you're creating your own schools. It's very easy, it's very step by step, uh, so hopefully it'll be of help to you. Okay, so what you're seeing in front of you here is a sample, maybe a staff COVID-19 questionnaire. Now, it's not very attractive, um, but these are the kind of questions uh, we asked in our school. Now, um, a paper-based um, questionnaire is of limited use in a way because how do you get the paper-based form back to the school and so on? I suppose they can email it or they can share it and everything else, but I thought a Google form would be a much better way of doing it. So I'm just gonna go through a step-by-step -step how I can convert this paper-based form uh, into a Google form um, and to do that uh, obviously I'm going to assume you know how to open Google Forms um, and I'm going to show you a blank empty form. Now obviously I'm not uh, this is a step-by-step -step thing but I don't want to be uh, spending um, loads of time you watching me type uh, every bit of information so I'm just going to go through the basics. So the first thing we need to do is obviously give it a title and it's going to be a staff COVID-19 uh, uh, questionnaire. Um, I'm going to mostly copy and paste a lot of what I have here and I obviously have a description for this uh, particular um, questionnaire which will explain what happened. In our school's context we just basically said we have to ensure the health and safety and well-being of anyone entering the school building and basically I've said that they need to get a score of seven to be allowed to enter the building. I'll explain that in a while. And the next real stage then is asking the questions. Now we had uh, uh, several questions that we wanted to ask, and um, you'll be surprised there's seven, and they had to get uh, seven out of seven, uh, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is the, but before I want, uh, before I do any of the questions, we I thought it was a good idea that staff would have to watch a video um, of from the HSE um, about being um, protected. I think it was from the HSE or else it was the HSA um, about being protected. And uh, I found one on YouTube uh, here. It was uh, from the HSE, yes. And basically what I'm going to do, I, was going, go, I, I want them to watch that before they even start the quiz. So to do that, I am going to add, and all the uh, symbols are here, I'm going to add a video. I'm going to search for that video by pasting the video here. Protect yourself, coronavirus. And basically, here it is, and I'm going to say, please watch this video before you answer the questions. And that's all I'm going to write here. And that makes them or asks them to watch the video. Now, hopefully they will watch that video. And uh, I could ask a question, did you watch the video? But anyway, we will see. The next question then I want to ask is for their name. And um, that's because we want to identify who it is. And by typing in their name in a way, they are consenting to filling in this form. Um, and I could put in a, a question, basically a, a thing to say, you are by filling in this form, you're consenting. Uh, however, in our staff, we possibly don't need that. So the first thing we'll need to do is your name. So your name. And that's fine. No problem there at all. And um, I'm just going to leave that as a short answer because it's their name. And obviously, I'm going to make it required. Now, the next thing is the meat of the project, which is where I'm going to answer questions. And the best thing for that, for me, in my opinion, really, is I'm going to, I, I want a multiple choice grid because I've got a lot of questions to answer and they're all going to be yes or no answers. Um, so in the rows, we'll have the questions and in the columns, we'll have either yes or no. So I'm just going to type in yes and then I'm going to end, uh, I put in no. And there's no other response that they're going to have. I'm also going to require a response in each row. Now, the first question I have to ask is have you been outside the country in the last 14 days? And um, so I'll just copy that out. 
and I'm going to paste it in there. I'm also going to put here as the title, please answer all of these questions. Okay, and I'm going to go through the rest of them. So I'm going to type in all the rest of the questions that are on this form into this. Okay, so I'll be back after I've done that. Okay, I've um, put all the questions in here. Now you'll see that they can't all be seen here. Don't worry, on the actual form, you'll see all the, 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 the full uh, questions, so that won't be a problem. Now, the thing is, they'll either be able to answer yes or no, but they will have to answer all those questions. And effectively, that's me done in terms of the, uh, of the, uh, of the form uh, to look at. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna preview that form. And what it will do, it was, uh, it'll ask me to watch this, it'll tell me to answer the questions, and then I type in yes or no or whatever it is. Now the trouble at the moment is, once I fill that in, nothing really happens. That just goes onto a spreadsheet and uh, nothing really, uh, there's, n there's no feedback for the person. So I'm just gonna type it in for me for the moment, and I'm gonna say yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so I'm basically failing this um, here. So have I been out? Yes, I have. Have all, all the wrong answers I, I'm putting in here. And when I click Submit, it should tell me, you can come into the school. But at the moment, it's just telling me that my response has been recorded. And this would involve someone then ringing uh, me to say, I'm sorry, you're, there's no way you're allowed back in. Um, so what I need to do is I need to make this self-correcting. Um, and this is where I'll come back to here. Now, just one other thing before I do that. Um, I, this form is untitled right now, so I'm just going to um, uh, click here and it'll give me a suggested name based on the title. So a staff COVID-19 questionnaire is what it says here. It says I have one response. I could change the color scheme, um, which I might do later, but for the moment, um, I, I'm not gonna do that. What I'm interested in now is making this into a quiz. And I use the cog here, the settings uh, here, to get, my, uh, to get that happening. So you have your general, quizzes here so you can uh, collect people's email addresses so if it's just your staff you uh, you might that might already be ticked just check it um, in this case I probably won't um, get it uh, I, 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 I their name is enough uh, just in case they're on their phone answering it they may not have their school uh, email address on it uh, you could limit to one response if you want to again I'm not sure if uh, I need to do that right now and also it requires signing in uh, whether they can edit after submitting I would say no uh, and um, and whether they want to see a summary. In this case, they don't need to. This isn't a presentation, it is a quiz though. Now, whether a quiz in Google means it's basically a self-correcting um, uh, assessment, let's say. Um, so let's make it a quiz. And what we want to do is we want to release their mark immediately after its submission. Now, sometimes there could be manual review here, but immediately after submission is what we're looking for. And whether they can see their missed questions, their correct answers, or their points value. So I don't want them to see uh, the correct answers, but I might want to see their missed questions uh, just and the points values as well. It's probably fine as well. There's no problem there at all. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, so this is where we get into the, the meat of it. We're not going to have any points uh, here, and there's no option to have any points here. Um, and if uh, and there's no way to prove that they've watched the video really using Google Forms. I think we just have to trust that they will um, or that they have done. Now, for their name, they're not going to get any points either. So there's again, there's nothing to do here. But this is where all the points will happen. Okay. So have they been outside the country? Has a member of their household? All that sort of stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, and we're going to look at an answer key. And this is uh, where it's important. So have you been outside the country? So all the answers should be no, okay? There's uh, no other correct answer here other than no. And you always get one point for getting the answer for basically putting in no. That's really, really important, okay? And uh, basically once you've done that, uh, you can click done, okay? So we have an answer in each column. And you could, um, and once you've done that, um, all you need, uh, to, you can put it in a description, you can limit one response per column, um, which um, which you don't want, uh, and you can shuffle the row order, but I guess you wouldn't want that to randomize the, uh, the questions there. And once you've done that, um, you're, you're pretty much done. It doesn't give very any feedback really in this particular example, but um, it's, definitely so, um, it's definitely a quick way of doing it, okay? So what you do then, once you've uh, finished that, let's have a look and see what happens. We'll 
preview again. Okay, so watch the video. Uh, this time I'll pretend my name isn't Simon. I'll call myself, I don't know. Let's uh, we'll call myself Barry. I don't know why Barry came into my head, but anyway, Barry is filling it in. Has been out of the country last. No, 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 he hasn't. No, and no. And then I can submit this. And it says your point has been recorded and you get to view your score, which is the important thing. And what it will say is, you have scored seven out of seven, okay? That means that this person is now fit to come into the school. He is allowed to come into the school and all the ticks are there. So that's great, okay? You must score a total of seven to be allowed into the building. Grand, perfect. Now the next stage then is, what happens if you're a person that didn't, uh, that it can't fill that out? Let's have a look and submit another response. So let's go again. So our name here, let's go Anne. If we have Barry, you have to have Anne, Anne and Barry. Uh, so have you been outside of the country? No. Uh, has any member of your household been outside the country in the last uh, 14 days? Let's say in this case it's a yes, um, but none of the other answers are there. So we'll go no, no, no. Are you planning to visit any countries? No. Okay, and then we submit. So we view our score. And in this case, it says you have six out of seven. So this person cannot, um, cannot, come into the building because they've not scored seven out of seven and they need to contact the school or the school needs to contact them uh, to, uh, to see that. So how will the school know? Um, so let's go back here. Um, we've had three responses so far. So what you can do is you can actually very, very quickly, um, you can very, very quickly uh, see the uh, answers to the questions. Um, this is a summary, which isn't that important. This is the questions, which aren't that important as well. But the individual is what we're looking for. So the first person was uh, uh, had no score. Remember, we didn't have a we didn't have a quiz. But the second question we had here, and this person got seven out of seven. So we're not worried about looking at them. They can come in. But this person got six out of seven. So we need to find out who that is. And we can see that it was Anne. But what I'm going to say there really is, uh, I need to ring Anne, and I need uh, I need to say, Anne, look, I'm afraid. Um, can you just tell me about your you, you asked them the question about whether it's safe for them to so you have that discussion and that's really it uh, to it you can uh, the other thing you can have there is you can see a spreadsheet of um, of all the answers so so that it's available so you can have a look here once you click on it um, so you can see uh, basically when they filled out the form so there's a timestamp which is very important uh, particularly if somebody says oh I was fine I was grand you say well look on the 6th of the 6th, you filled that out. You needed to wait 14 days. You had to self-isolate. So you can come back on the 20th of the 6th, but you need to answer this questionnaire again. And um, because it says all the answers to the questions. So they had a yes here, um, and um, which was a problem. So they, we have to, we, we can see that uh, they got uh, six out of seven, so we can contact Anne there. So all the data is there in a spreadsheet for you to see instantly. It's, it's Pretty much that's it. You can make this a little bit more complicated if you want to. Um, we had individual feedback uh, for um, our one here. This was uh, basically every question was asked, so it actually gave feedback. Um, I'll just show you what happened in the answer key. There was feedback for incorrect answers. If you answered yes, you will not be permitted onto the site until you've self-isolated. Uh, for this one, has any member... Now, there was no yes or no answer in this. So in this one, we were kind of saying, if you answered yes to the question, you should consider not coming in. So it's not that we didn't give them a point, but um, but basically, we uh, um, they, they, it was about a consideration. So you'll see here that we sometimes had yes and no were, all, were, were, were correct answers, uh, but there was a kind of a... Um, if, you'll, if you've answered yes, you'll have to be certified by a GP to be, before you come in. Now, I kind of prefer my more uh, this other simpler model um, where you just have this checklist and there isn't really any feedback. If you haven't scored seven out of seven, you need to contact the school or the school needs to contact you before you come into the school. So that's kind of really what we've done there. So that's really it. Um, there's no more to it. Um, I hope it's been useful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, you know where I am. Um, just leave a comment there or you can email me simon at carloeducatetogether.ie or simon at onshaw.net and I'll be very happy to help you. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again. Thank <music> you.